Dang it. Uh, yeah, did you guys, did Beacon, did you see that clip? Whatever, I'll tell you about it after. Hey everybody, just gonna give a little short uh, talk about why I built Telescope. I often get asked this question, so I'm just recording a short video giving you a brief overview of some of the reasons that I built Telescope and why I continue to work on it and have uh, you know fun with it. Uh, so if you don't know what Telescope is, you can go to this uh, repo here, but it's a fuzzy finder for NeoVim. It's written in Lua and it does lots of cool stuff with Lua. So the reasons that I built it, Fun, ease of use, customizability, and I want it to feel built in. All right? So, fun. I, I really started Telescope just on a whim, basically, thinking that it would be fun to try and do some Fuzzy Finder stuff. I wanted to be able to uh, basically just design my own thing, experiment, play around with it, have a good time. And so I did. So that's one of the big reasons why I started with Telescope. That was one of the big reasons. But why did I first sort of have my interest peaked in this direction, as opposed to writing some code for some other things? The first one is ease of use. I wanted to be able to write code that does things like use Lua functions, pass around Lua closures, be able to do those things in sort of a first class way. And when I had used other fuzzy finders, it felt very difficult to do that because they were running in some other process. They were built as generic search tools. They all had different sort of feature sets than the exact sort of idea or feelings that I was looking to be able to do. And often they sort of had to do in effect what would be shell magic to get those kinds of things to work. Not only that, I want it to be very simple to be able to do simple things like you have a Lua list of things, maybe like some results from get results, and you wanted to be able to search over them or fuzzy find over them, it should, it should feel and act very simple to be able to make that kind of thing happen. Not only that, uh, often for a fuzzy finder, you want to display something uh, but you want to sort over something else. So we allow the ability to do things like passing in Lua tables where you can sort on the ordinal value but display a different value. It feels very, for me, easy to use and be able to do different aspects of programming than I felt I would be able to do uh, in other fuzzy finders. The customizability aspect of, of Telescope is another area. Uh, Actually, each part of Telescope was uh, designed to be uh, composable with each other. So the sorter, the thing that sorts and filters items is just a function. So depending on how you wanna sort or what you wanna do, you can use different sorters. So I use a different sorter for sorting files versus sorting my mappings. So this being able to plug and play different sorting algorithms is very helpful to have a nice experience, a customized experience. Not only that, you can have all sorts of different kinds of previewers which show up in the you know right hand pane style thing in a Telescope. And it's cool because each of those are also just Lua functions that interact with Vim buffers in any way that you normally would with, with a function. We also offer a variety of layouts in Telescope. I wanted to be able to make different kinds of layouts for different kinds of activities because sometimes you want to fuzzy find and have no preview or a large screen or all these different kinds of things. I, I just wanted to be able to do that and I was having fun making all these different aspects of customizability and so that was very fun in sort of the display aspect or the UI aspect of it as well. And I also liked being able to do my mappings, once again, like I had mentioned with straight up just Lua functions, be able to pass closures and other, other aspects directly to the plugin to interact with the results and then NeoVim afterwards. Which leads me to my final area is built in. I wanted Telescope to feel like it was made for NeoVim. I wanted to use the latest NeoVim features. I wanted to be able to use them, you know, sort of as they came out and be able to integrate them tightly with Telescope. So, so as an example, a cool previewer that recently landed with a big thanks to Connie is that we can load NeoVim buffers up for files and they can use your color scheme and tree sitter to do all of the highlighting. So the file is going to look just exactly the same in the preview as it is when you open it. Not only that, but you can 
use the other sort of APIs provided by any of them to extend the highlighting of either the entries or the previews or the prompt or wherever you want to do, you're able to extend all of those with the NVIM buff add highlight or a new syntax. And you can even apply highlights to entries uh, in process as they're calculated, do all these sorts of, uh, sorts of things because they're just Lua tables with different keys getting passed around. I like being able to write Lua for NeoVim because I think it uh, works quite well as a scripting language. I, I have another video, Sellout, on my YouTube that talks about why I like Lua and NeoVim. But for example, configuring a picker for telescope, uh, I want it to be quite easy to override any defaults or options within uh, telescope uh, quickly and easily all within Lua without having to do any sort of uh, magic shell things or sending it to uh, different temp files or anything like that. So what's what's quite nice what's quite nice about that is it's just Lua running. It's not uh, there's not some random process that you're sending you know that sort of betwixt you and the editor, right? It's just entirely you and the and telescope running Lua. So I, I quite like that and had a good time doing that. So, and I also like to just give a big shout out to telescope community, super nice, lots of fun, very helpful. And I've been really blown away by how much they love the, the plugin, which is another reason why I continue working on telescope and having a lot of fun. I mean, ultimately I think I just having a lot of fun working on it. And so I work on it even if uh, people you know, weren't excited about it, but that's basically why I built Telescope and why I'm working on it. For more info, you can check out this presentation. It'll be posted at the first link. Check my GitHub or watch me on Twitch to follow and find more info. Thanks everybody. Okay, that's it chat. There you go. I did it. Thanks Prime. Thanks for the sub buddy and Windblow. Hey, thanks for the follow.